Okay, fifth graders, 8-7, and I, I think my brain's a little more clear than it was uh, an hour ago, because I've had, uh, I'm working on my second cup of coffee in that last video where I did the 10 answers for you guys. Um, I hadn't had any coffee yet, and I've got a fever and feel pretty lousy. So, um, of course, there's no guarantee it's going to be any better. <laughs> okay. Anyways, let's let's jump through eight seven here. I don't. This could easily be a long lesson. Um, yeah. Okay. So uh, what are we talking about here? It looks like a, a clothing factory is making jackets. The factory is open for seven and a half hours each day. You can see what I highlighted there. Uh, machine A. How many jackets does Machine A make in a day? Uh, that's the question. Machine A makes two and three quarter jackets in an hour. So it's going to be uh, the two and three quarters times seven and a half. Sorry, I'd already scribbled on that. My video had messed up and I had to redo it. And so there's the area model. We've talked about uh, this before. Um, the seven and a half represents the seven and a half hours that the, the factory is open and manufacturing the jackets. And the two and three quarters over here on the side uh, represent the, uh, the how many jackets an hour machine a makes and so simply you know what do we have here two times seven that's going to be 14 and then uh two times a half uh which is represented right there would be one and then the same thing down here for three quarters times seven and three quarter times a half so uh, that's using the area model and again we've they've shown us uh, examples of this before and if that if that helps you guys that's awesome and if you need to do it that way I it tends to be the long way around the barn I think um, but if it helps great uh, the, the other way in box C here is the way I've shown you um, uh, and and uh, the book too uh, so they just simply take seven and a half times three quarters, convert them into improper fractions, multiply those together, and what do we get? Twenty and five eighths. <coughs> um, convince me how many jackets? I raised some of that. Sorry about that. Um, how many jackets can machine B make in? I think it's in one day. Uh, write an equation to model your work. So what are we talking about here? We're talking about. I can do this one really quick here. We're talking about seven and a half. That's how long the factory you know is open and working the seven and a half times uh, three and one third okay well first we got to convert these into fractions so we can multiply them together right now the way it stands we can't so two times seven is 14 plus one is 15 over two times three times three is nine plus one is ten ten over three okay and so 15 times ten Remember, anything times 10, just add the zero. So it's 150 over 6. Um, well, 150 over 6 is the same thing as 150 being divided by 6. Um, 6 goes into 15 how many times? Twice. 12. There's 3 left over. Bring down the zero. Well, that's kind of convenient. 6 goes into 30 five times. And so the answer is... 25 all right <coughs> okay um, let's drop down to the next page here um, the guided practice explain how you would multiply five times two and a half well what's the first thing you do convert uh, five into a fraction uh, so that would become 5 over 1 okay uh, then that's the first thing I would do then um, convert um, 2 and a half into sorry I was sloppy into a fraction you know how to do that now um, so that's and then um, 
Let's see, then multiply. Yeah, I mean, that'd be it. So five and a half times, what's two and a half in a fraction? Um, two times two is four plus one is five, five over two. And then multiply. Yeah, okay. Um, oh, I, I never liked these boxes. Um, <coughs> so, um, let's see here. So, f 4 times 2 is 8, plus 3 is 11. It's going to be 11. And uh, and then 88 over 4, that'll end up being 22. Um, oh, they've got a lot of ones with boxes here. Um, yeah, I, I you know what? Don't worry about it. Um, because, because Mr. Glacier says so. There you go. How's that for an answer? Yeah. I don't, I don't know how much they help. You can do six and nine. We'll look at those tomorrow. <clears throat> um, let's see here. Estimate a product and find each product. So, um, if you wanted to estimate, um, you can. Uh, so two and one six, that's really close to two times, uh, four and a half would round to five. So that would be 10. There's your estimate for number 10, but then it says to find each product. So let me do number 10 with you guys here really quick. Um, number 10. What do we have here? Two and one sixth times four and one half. Okay, so let's let's convert. So we need to change both of these into fractions. So, um, whoops, what happened here? How did I do that? Sorry. So, um, 6 times 2 is 12, plus 1 is 13, over 6, times 2 times 4 is 8, plus 1 is 9, over 2. Multiply straight across. 6 times 2 is 12, 13 times 9, what the heck is that? I have no idea. 13 times 9. 9 times... 3 is 27. Put down the 7, carry the 2. 9 times 1 is 9, plus 2 more is 11. So that's 117. 117 over 12. Um, wow. So now you have to divide 117 by 12. Okay. Um, well, 10 times 12 is 120, so it looks like it's going to be 11. I'm sorry, 9. So, um, um, it's going to go in 9 times, and, uh, 120, 108. So, uh, looks like nine and three quarters. Uh, so, 10 was the estimate. Nine and three quarters. All right. Um, hmm, let's see here. Let's do one more. That was 10. How about number 11? Yeah, oh, how are we doing on time here? Nine minutes. Okay, we're all right. So three quarters uh, times eight and a half. So the three quarters we don't have to convert. 
it's already in fraction form. 8 and a half, 2 times 8 is 16, plus 1 is 17 over 2. And so 4 times 2 is 8, but what's 3 times 17? 17 times 3, that's 21. Carry the 2, 3, 4, 5, so 51 over 8. Well, how many times does 8 fit into 51? If you know your times tables, uh, how many times does 8 go into 45? 8 times 8 is 64. Um, oh, my brain. Um, so 5. Um, 5, 6. 6 times 8. is oh my gosh my brain <laughs> is not working wow okay uh don't want to embarrass myself here <laughs> which i do daily okay um let's see here eight times five 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40. 8 times 5 equals 40. So 8 times 6 is 48. That would work. So 51 divided by 8. So 48 with 3 left over. Um, and so that was six times. Um, yes, so six with three left over, and um, yeah, so that's going to be six. Like I said, it went in six times, forgive me, and there was three left over. That's the numerator, and the eight stays the same. So 6 and 3 eighths for number 11. 6 and 3 eighths. Sorry.